हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय नेम इज़ प्रियंत्र कुमार एंड फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल लर्न हाउ टू यूज सॉल्वर इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो सॉल्वर इज अ वेरी गुड प्रॉब्लम सॉल्विंग फीचर अवेलेबल इन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एक्सेल सो आई एम टेकिंग एन एग्जाम्पल एंड I will tell you how to use the solver with this example. So I have some data points. So uh, let's say I have to create a schedule for hundred agents, and uh, every agents will get two week off, right? So my uh, weekly head count will will be five hundred because each agent have to come. Five days, right? So my weekly head count will be five hundred. So I have this data. I have shift here five shift eight a.m. twelve p.m. four p.m. six p.m. and eight p.m. and Monday to Sunday days, right? So and I have two condition here. One is the for the minimum requirement for the shift. So each shift has a minimum requirement for any of the day. Let's say uh, I have the eight a.m. shift. Then in eight a.m. shift, in any of the day, minimum requirement is eight agent. So basically, any of the day, uh, in eight a.m. shift, there should be the eight a agents. Similarly, in twelve p.m., four p.m., six p.m., and eight p.m. And I have one more condition also: the minimum requirement for the day. So uh, I have uh, you know the sum formula here in the row and the columns basically. So the total requirement for the day basically total requirement for the Monday is ninety. Similarly, the total requirement for the Tuesday is eighty. So the sum of that amount should be minimum. Ah, uh, should be for example, I'll take for the Monday then the minimum head count for the Monday. Should be ninety or greater than ninety. Just like I am just putting some uh, random number here, right? Then the uh, let me showcase you. So I have put some data. So now the total uh, is eighty eight. So this is not matching the condition. So I need minimum ninety uh, agents on Monday. So minimum ninety agents should be scheduled on Monday. right but i have put some value but still it is not matching the condition since uh, 8 am shift has only 5 agent so 8 am shift should have minimum 8 agent so i'm putting a conditional formatting here if my data is not correct then it should highlight the value so i'm taking going to the conditional formatting format cell and taking the less than and just removing the dollar from the uh, row and the bold font in red color right so if i will type uh, you know something in the in any up cell like so 8 am the minimum requirement is for the 8 am is 8 so i'll type the 9 or 8 then it will showcase in the normal color otherwise if i will type Less than eight, then it will showcase in red. Similarly, we will uh, we have to give a condition for the day, right? So I am taking some data. Uh, let's say fifteen head count in each shift. So I am putting a conditional formatting on the day also. So I am going to the cell less than and select this value. So remove the dollar. From the column or from the row, okay, and bold. So I'll fill it red, and the font will be white. This format, okay. So the total is basically seventy five. That is why it is showing red. So if the total is ninety, ninety is equal to ninety, then it is showing. It is not showing red. If the total is eighty eight, so if the value will be less than the Minimum requirement, then it will showcase the red. So we have to create a schedule, and there is no value should be displayed in red. So all conditions should be met. Okay, so uh, 
uh, I'll go to the file and the option or you can use alt to to go to the option okay then I'll go to the add-in select the adding tab and in manage area we'll select the Excel add-ins which is already selected click on go and select solver add-in click OK now solver add-in is getting loaded and uh, solver will be displayed in data tab so now solver is available here click on the solver so now watch this window carefully so this is the option of the solver okay so uh, first is uh, set objective set objective is the uh, cell which will be my objective so this uh, yellow area should be 500 because this is the total headcount of the beak right now i'll select the by changing variable cells so my variable cells is this where i will uh, give the input of the shift right headcount now there is some conditions constants so i'll add the constants for this so i'll click on add button which is available here add and will the con will give the condition so select the monday shift okay and then this value should be equal to or greater than from the minimum requirement of the shift click add so this condition has been added and similarly for the tuesday this value should be equal to or greater than this value add similarly for the bands day add select the minimum requirement and click on add okay add it the next one so we'll take the uh, you know the condition for the all of the seven days because uh, we have to put the condition in seven days there should be the minimum requirement should be the fulfill for the shift requirement okay so we are putting the condition for the shift minimum shift requirement okay for the saturday this value add and the this value add okay all the condition has been added for the shift now putting the condition for the day so i'm selecting this value should be always equal to or greater than from the uh, minimum requirement of the day okay so uh, this is the conditions or the constants which is uh, showcasing here which we have added now uh, if you are uh, this is the cell range basically why change cell range and the set objective and the value of 500 and here is some button also add change delete you can delete any constant you can change edit and the reset all also okay uh, so this is option are available i will click on the solve so now as soon as i click on the solve uh, there is an option as uh, keep solver solution or restore value so i'll click on the keep solution so now schedule has been ready okay so the condition for the uh, you know the minimum requirement already met because there is no red available but in the uh, total there is some red available so let me see why it is it is focusing so if i am checking there is a minor difference right very minor differences uh, in the 90 and the 90 okay so we will check the this in the solver option okay uh, because three red uh, values are available here 90 70 and 68 the number is showing the correct but there could be a minor very minor difference so let's go to the solver and we can check the option and just constant precision we can change it with the zero if we can let me check if it is allowed click ok now it there's 
must be a positive number so basically let it be like that so we cannot put any number because the number which is available they are already pretty smaller okay so i'm running it schedule again so what we will do we'll change the conditional formatting accordingly we'll use the round here so similarly checking it again the with the 70 is uh, the same same thing is here okay so however our data is absolutely correct because this is the very minor difference and it doesn't make any difference basically so i'm going to the conditional formatting removing that condition and putting another formula here which is the round and uh, the value uh, it is the v9 remove the dollar comma the decimal place zero is less than with the minimum requirement remove the dollar then it should be red right the font and the background red okay now look at this so the red, red color is removed so we can check one condition here if i will put the 6.5 then still it will not showcase the red and 6.4 then it will show the red okay because now it is showing the round figure 6.5 then it will showcase 6.45 then still in that okay so this is the way you can create a schedule in the excel okay and we ha i just have given an example you just you can use in your own schedule with your own formulas so it was in example so i hope you have enjoyed this video if you really have enjoyed this video then please like it and share with your colleagues and friends and please subscribe my channel if you haven't subscribed it yet and thank you so much for the watching the video